Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay's Corner. And y'all see what's on the screen. So y'all see what it is. Okay, the real Housewives of Atlanta. And this was my thumbnail. And I wanted to show this because Marlo in this white, honey, she looked amazing. I wish I would have got a picture of it too, but I didn't. You know what I'm saying? And this is kind of how the episode went to me. Everybody looking at Kenya like, Kenya, what were you talking about, Kenya? What was you talking about? But anyway, hey, okay, if you have not done so already, please come over to subscribe to my channel, channel, Lord Jesus, channel, and become a whole Jaybird, Jaybird, dun, 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 and all that goodness and stuff. I don't go back to work till Thursday, so y'all can probably see me in the same, my, my same house dress, okay, until Thursday. Okay? Because it's late and I'm trying to be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Late, dark, all that stuff. But my lips are going. Got my little twist in my hair and everything. Let it be what it's going to be. Okay. Um, do not forget oh, all that goodness and stuff. I think I said that. Do not forget to like, comment, and share this video. To also um, follow me on IG at J underscore V underscore corner and all that. So let's just go ahead and get it started. I feel like this episode wasn't a lot. Um, I feel like it was almost a filler episode because I think so much is supposed to happen next week. So, we're going to see what it gives or whatever. So, you know, we see Portia hanging out with her sister, MC and stuff. They out there looking at makeup and things and whatnot. MC and she's talking about how she's ready to go to Canada for the turn up. Because since she's been a mom and going through things with Dennis, she has not had much of a bit. She does not have much of a vacation. She's looking forward to going to Canada and, you know, hang out with her tits out or whatever. You know, she brings up how her and Dennis has went to therapy or whatever. And he wants to move back in. He wants to give back my ring and everything. You know what I'm saying? He wants to go back to how he was before we move forward or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We are in a better place. Okay, Portia. If you say so. But Lauren was like, okay, that's fine. But y'all in a better place. That's fine. He wants to get the ring back, whatever. But how about, you know what I'm saying? Don't go from step one to step ten. Take it one step at a time, okay? Even though we love the fact that your daughter, our precious, precious PJ, is here. It all happened very quickly, okay? So you do not have to make up and get back together so quickly. Take time to explore each other, okay? And so I say that's that's smart. And Portia agrees. We are we taking it step by step, day by day. Okay, all right. Anyway, um, uh, <laughs> a song was was that the Full House song or Family Matters? Day by day. I don't know. Anyway, it was some TV show that did step by step, day by day. Some some some. What's the Family Matters? I don't know. It wasn't Family Matters. Wait, what's the black show? Because the theme music is real black. I'm like, girl, I need to focus. Anyway, she then brings up how she's been hearing the shady things that Eva has been saying about her. And she don't like it. Okay? She don't like it. You know what I'm saying? We see how she was, you know, basically supporting Eva, not letting anybody talk any mess about Eva. And Candy, like, well, Candy then said, well, girl, you know what I'm saying? Eva... May not feel that protective about you because when we was hanging out, she said some things or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's when Eva was saying how Portia need to make her own business. Portia be, she be worried about her C section scar her C section scar healing and how Portia, you know, she can show Portia the blogs about Dennis so she can go, you know, have things to worry about. Now Eva said that out of her own mouth to Cynthia and Candy or whatever. So Candy mentioned it to uh Portia when Portia was Trying to say how she was speaking up and defending Eva because Eva's her good friend. Girl, she ain't that good because she was talking about you. So she going I'm going to bring it up in Canada, up in Toronto, to Emerson to address it. I mean, I, I think it can be addressed. Anyway, we then see all the ladies flying to Toronto. You know who it was, you know, Tanya, Cynthia, Candy, Portia, Eva. Kenya Marlowe and Honey Yovana. I'm like, why are they trying to make Yovana be a part of the group? I don't, I don't dislike Yovana, but Yovana don't mix well. Yovana seems thirsty. Like she, she seems like she really, really, really wants to be on the show because she wants to be on the show. And I guess you know, you you should want to be on the show, but she feels desperately. You know, as I feel like y'all wait 
trying to give a moment, okay? And fetch is just not going to happen. And when she walked up with a jacket on that said, you know, bitch on the back, because I'm that bitch. I was that bitch from Clark Atlanta. Girl, move on. You too, you too old to be trying to hold on to old titles when you was in college. You used to go, you girl, you, you all need the AARP card. Leave that alone, okay? Anyway, we do see that Eva Marlowe have made up, okay? They talking or whatever. Eva said, her, you know, her mom had talked about this and talked about that. And she said, Marlo being nice. I said, girl. Mar I said, but see, with Marlo, I like Marlo. Marlo has her shady moments, but Marlo is tolerable, okay? Yovana, I don't trust her yet. I don't know what she is for. I don't want to do that. Now, they bring up that Nene was invited, but she said, I don't know if I want to come yet. Well, girl, just stay at home. So, um... They get to Canada, okay, and Marlo loses her passport. You know, they bring up at the little at the at the airport or whatever. You scan your your, your, your passport, okay. You scan your information, and then you supposed to move on to the next point. And somewhere in between, Marlo scanning her stuff, her her port passport went missing. They think somebody may have stolen it. I say, girl, I guess so. Now last season she lost her luggage. This season she lost off her passport. So for her to get back home, if she don't find it, she's gonna have to go to the embassy to get you know back to the states. I say, girl, Marlo. Has bad luck on trips. Um, her but she dressed better this time around. Her wigs is better this time around. She learned from the last time or whatever. So now Tanya seems to be a great hostess so far. Cause this is a Tanya. This is Tanya's trip. Okay, Tanya is planning the first cash trip or whatever. And tripped trip. Okay, and she gives you know carnival is this carnival is that or whatever. You know it's this and it's that and, and boom boom boom. You know, they go going to the hotel. Well, what kind of rooms we getting? Who get the best room? What kind of rooms? You know, every time they go on a trip, somebody has a crappy room. I don't understand why when they go places, they don't book a hotel that has enough room for them all to have the same kind of room. I'm looking like, why get, you know, a better room for you and one person? I don't know. Or even if you and one person has, has the better rooms, just have everybody else's rooms be the same. And that is what Tanya did. She said, my room is a penthouse because it's my trip. And y'all all have great rooms and they're the same room. Like, no one has a crappy room. And I'm like, I, I, it's, it's, that's nice. That's smart. That's a dope. And she said, you know, on, on my kind of trip, I would never give anybody a shitty room. That's not what I would do. Because Tanya has class. Okay? Classy. Classy. Now, at the hotel, okay, Cynthia, you know, I, I don't know if she was on the blogs, if she was searching for it, if somebody sent her, but see, she found out that uh, Love B. Scott blog had the exact wording of the card that Nene sent her for her wine opening, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh, okay. Now, she's trying to figure out how would this blog have the card and know what the card said. You know, how did it happen? So, Kenya, like, it was Kenya, Cynthia, and, 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 and Candy. And Kenya said, it was Nene. Nene had to have sent what it said or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because she wants people to make it seem like she got as shady and shitty as we see that she is. So, let me, you know, put in the blog this beautiful card I sent Cynthia and people won't be so mad at me. I said, I mean, that's a possibility. That's a possibility. Now, I feel like I felt bad. You know, I thought the car was so genuine. You know what I'm saying? It was, I was going to thank her in person or whatever. But now, I don't know what to do because, like, if she, you know, did give the info to the blogs, then, you know, she wasn't really sincere. She did it so she can kind of make herself look better. Now, Candy brings up, like, well, if she, you know, it does feel like it was it was a fake gesture if it was Nene, in fact, who gave it to the blogs. And now I agree. You can't send me this heartfelt card and send it to the blogs, too, so that America can know it's great. I think she did that in the aspect of sending it to Cynthia on the show, too. But, I mean, she knew it wouldn't air till later. So, at that point in time, it still meant more for Cynthia to get it up, whatever. I digress. So, they then discussed the dinner they all had with their men, okay? When Mark was out here defending uh, uh, Nene, like she was his wife, okay? Not Kenya's husband. Anyway, seems like, I, I said, well, I noticed Kenya, with Mark, like, Mark always cutting you off. You know what I'm saying? If he talking and you interject him, he cuts you off and say, hey, you know, respect the flow of the conversation. But if you're talking he would interrupt you and not care that he's interrupting you. Kenya said, we know we just, we have, we have really bad communication. I'm saying it's really bad. I can't believe 
he was speaking up about Nene as well. I'm like, well, I mean, Kenya and Mark don't mesh. It seems like they don't mesh. It it, it seems like it's uh, the whole train wreck, okay? Candy brings up, well, I was upset with that because I even talked to him after the dinner because Mark and Ty went out hanging while he was in town, which made Kenya upset. But he, he he really don't even be in town that much. So I was upset that while he was here with me and the baby, whatever, he chose to go out and hang out with Todd versus being at home with me and the baby. And I'm like, because he don't like you. He don't want to be with you. And, you know, can't like, you know, with these men from New York, I'm saying, because they're both from New York or whatever when they around each other. And because I think it's because they hang out together in general, too. She's like, you know, they like, they like hanging out. I was kind of like... Whatever, but you know it was what it was. So it simply was like, well, you know, like, are you are you happy? Like, is he giving you, like, is he giving you peace? She's like, we're not in a good place. You know what I'm saying? Before the baby, whatever was good, which was first one was good, but lately, you know I'm saying he's been, he's been getting further and further away, and we are in low, we are in a low place right now because your husband lives in a different state, and he don't like coming to visit you, and he y- y'all clearly not having sex. Because you're just not. And, I mean, girl, it's a marriage of convenience. I mean, this, this show isn't helping either one of them look better in their marriage, for one. And I don't feel like it's going to help them currently because I just think they, they don't mesh well. So, Kenya was, like, getting all teary out and cry baby face about it or whatever. Because her marriage is deteriorating. Some people think the marriage is fake. I do think Karen, Karen Kenya married him. Because she thought it will it will last, but sometimes when you marry a stranger, it just don't last, and that's what's happening here. Here, okay. So we then see a little scene of them going to look uh, dance lessons or whatever. They were learning to, to you know to dirty wine and to do little, little juke dances or whatever. Um, it was cute. It was a moment or whatever. You know, Kenya didn't come because she didn't feel good. So each lady had her own. You know, what I'm saying little flag, little rag, and the flag. The, each rag was a flag of a different country. They were just saying toss in the air, whatever. Saying, the, the little wine, but whatever. We see Eva on the ball because she's pregnant. So she was just saying. Move on the ball. Uh, that's Cynthia in a long dress in the middle. That's Candy in the leopard print. That's Giovanna in that bl- blonde ass wig. Um, and then Marla was that turn the hat. And then we can't really see Portia who's next to uh Marla. I meant Marlo. Um, and then I think Tanya is next to Cynthia. But it was cute to see them all dancing around, laughing, whatever. Just having a good time. Having a good time learning to dance. When the lady brought up, we can't be out here twerking. Like, you know, the Caribbean, the, the, the Caribbean, the Caribbean, girl, the Caribbean. Uh, the Carnival, you know, we don't twerk. It's a, it's a wind. It's a wind. And Portia said, they're going to accept my crook as a wine. I was like, no, Portia, they don't. They may look like you're crazy. So we then see all the other ladies leave, okay? But we see Eva and Cynthia sit around and have a bit of a conversation, okay? Eva sit up there eating ice on the little ball, moving around. Because, again, she's pregnant. So, you know, she asks, she's like, well, I ain't talked to you since your little wine thing, whatever. You know, she's been engaged, woman, now, whatever. But have you heard anything else about snake gates, okay? Have you heard anything else about Snake Gate? Now, this is what I'm wondering. What if Eva's the one who recorded it? What if? I don't think she did. But I'm like, when she asked the question, I'm like, did you ask? Because you wonder if they know it's you. So I don't know. I still believe it's Javana. I, I still 100% believe it's Javana. But wouldn't it be crazy if it was Eva? Mm-hmm. Anyway, so you know, she said, "Well, no, I haven't heard much or whatever about it." So you know, what I'm saying it is what it is. She do bring up how, but you know, at the wine thing when you know Mike proposed or whatever. You know, what I'm saying um, Mike was upset once he found out that Kenya mentioned to me that he might propose, and we see them talking in, in the scene or whatever. And she brings up how you know what Kenya mentioned before you propose that you that you might propose that day and Mike like I don't like that I feel like you know what I'm saying that was her she could have you know possibly ruined a surprise that we've been planning you know for some, some time now you know what I'm saying he he felt like he he she just he didn't say he felt like she purposely did it but it could have ruined the moment and it could have so because he was upset about it it made Cynthia realize well damn I wonder why did she like if she knew like why would she say anything and she says I'm gonna talk to her about that a little bit later so I say fine. Now we then see Nene. Nene arrives. Okay. Um, she came by herself. 
Okay. And some flip flops telling the driver of the car to get her luggage. I said, okay. And you know, she was she met up with Tanya because only Tanya knows she's coming. Um Nene not in good graces with anybody except of course Javonna, that bitch. Um, Marlo and her and Tanya seem to be on better terms. Um, so they must have made up in some shape or form. But Tanya also brought up brought up how she just did not want to have an event, have a, a trip, and she did not invite Nene because you know it's kinda of, kinda of, it seems kinda of weird. So they they cool now or whatever. Now Nene brings up how she wants to bond with at least one of the ladies. And I say we'll apologize. Nene fails to accept the fact the reason she's at odds with so many people is because she did so many people wrong. Like it's not as if they all teamed up against you. You did wrong to each person one by one by one, sometimes two on two, and they don't fuck with you. Because they're adults. So, uh, like an adult, like a grown up, grown up, grown person, apologize for the, the part that you play in the demise of your friendships, okay? If you do that, they may be able to break bread with you. But until then, they ain't, they ain't fucking with you, okay? I'm like, whatever. So, we then see um, all the ladies are meeting up, okay? And Tanya let them know, well, let's see y'all know, Nene is here. Okay, she's here. I'm saying she's gonna be coming around a little bit later. Not only Marlo and Yvonne was happy about that. And I say, girl, because ain't nobody fuck with Marlo. So we then see Kenya come down. Like Kenya did not go to the juking thing or whatever. This is the first time they've seen her even sitting down in her room or whatever. And she's like, you know, me and Mark we're just not getting any better. Girl, we know. We know. So we then see Portia brings up, you know, I think on these trips, sometimes things happen, you know, sometimes we argue, but I feel like, you know, we should be able to bring up issues that we have in a positive light and just, you know, have a conversation and a discussion and it's not a big deal. Okay. And now I want to start first and Eva, I'm going to start with you. Okay. And she then politely. Not shadily, not messily, and I know I'm making no words, but in a, in a nice round by way, you know what I'm saying? She brought up how, you know, you were a part of my village. You are a person who I consider, you know what I'm saying, my friend. You know what I'm saying? We talk about all kinds of stuff. You know, think about me and Dennis and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So we, we, we here with this or whatever. And I was upset. I was hurt to hear that you was talking about me. You know what I'm saying? Saying little shady stuff about me, whatever. I was I was upset about that or whatever. You know, you know because Marlo, you know, tried to talk about you, whatever, and I defended you. And I'm saying I, but then I find out that you was talking about me to Candy and Cynthia. So, see, they then show the footage of what she said about 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 Portia. Now we see the proof. The proof is that what Candy said to to Portia is exactly verbatim what Eva said. Okay, it's verbatim what Eva said. And again, Candy's reason for telling her was because Portia was saying how she was defending Eva. And she like, well, you know, she not defending you. Okay, and I'm like, that's that's how things supposed to happen. It wasn't messy. It wasn't messy. The messy part was Eva saying it, not Candy telling Portia she, she said it. Okay, we'll leave it there. Anyway, so... She like you said this about the blogs and, and getting blogs or whatever, and that it was what she said. Eva, I didn't say that. That's not I, that's Candy lying. I'm Candy's like, I'm not a, Candy's mean things. Okay, she's many mean things, but one thing she's done is a liar. We have seen every time someone say Candace this, she Candace, I Candace Candy said that she did something or said something. And she don't lie about it. She just that's not that's not what she do. Candy has never been caught in a lie. Period. Gonna leave it at that, okay? So, Candy's laugh when Eva was saying, that's not, I did not say that, okay? I'm gonna say that in front of you, in front of Candy. That's not what I said. And I'm like, mm, mm, mm. And the fact that Portia's an Eva, I've seen you say to people that you didn't say whatever. And then we see the footage of you saying exactly what you denied saying. So, I don't believe that you didn't say it because you always deny, deny, deny. Eva has an issue with lying. And I'm not going to say lying. I'm going to say Eva says things that she don't remember what she said because she said things too quickly. And it's her shade. It's how she throws shade. But at the end of the day, you can't say things that are mean and hurtful about people you cool with and then just don't remember and then say somebody else lying because you don't pay attention to what you say. It makes you seem like a liar. You may not really be lying because you may not just recall what you said. But you consistently, Eva, look like a liar. And eventually, it's, it's going to be a thing to where it's like, oh, she just forgot. No, eventually, it's going to be 
he was a liar. And you can't believe shit she said. Period. Okay? So, at that point in time, she do say, we know, Portia, if I said whatever I said, if I said whatever, I said, I'm sorry. I did not mean to hurt your feelings. I did not mean you. Okay, if you say so. Okay? So, I say this to this. Now, Cynthia, I really do, Cynthia, so I really do think that Eva is a riding for you, Portia. I don't think, I'm saying that she meant it in any, in any way or whatever, but I do, um, she was being shady that day, but I can't remember exactly what she said. Cynthia, you ain't good for shit, okay? Because you were sitting right there, right? How do you not remember the, the fact, girl, but I think because Candy said, uh, said to her, um, her review thing, whatever, that Eva was in a lot of things, that she think that can that Cindy just didn't remember it all because she said she had said so much and they cut it down to those couple of things or whatever. I say, girl, but again, she apologized, but it's that's fine. But at the end of the day, Eva, you still laugh. So we then see Kenya, Kenya, Cynthia addresses the group about Kenya, okay? And she's like, well, Kenya, you know what I'm saying? And after a little thing or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You came to me and said, oh, I think Mike might propose. And it was like, what? She said, what? Oh, my God. Okay. And she brings up how, you know what I'm saying? At first, I didn't think about it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I talk with Mike, and he was upset that you mentioned. He was upset because he wanted, like, why would you do that? She's like, I didn't think about it, you know, at the time when it happened. But, you know what I'm saying? But after he proposed, you know what I'm saying? The fact that he had a problem, I realized, well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? If she knew he was going to do it, why would she mention it? This is where Kenya seemed like a liar, okay? A whole bold liar. Because Kenya then say, well, you know what? I had a feeling, you know, we talk all the time about my premonitions or whatever. And how they always come true. And I just, I just, I had a feeling. I knew it was going to happen. And Kenya was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like you lying. Well, well, Kenya, you can say, okay, you, you can, you can say it. I know she can. And Kenya, like, you know, I text her. I texted her and I told her, you know, you need to hurry up because I think Michael's going to propose. But I texted back. I did text back because, you know what, I think so too. But I feel like even if you said, I, I think so too, I felt like the text between y'all two was her saying, he going to do it because he just, he mentioned to me, you know what I'm saying, he mentioned something. Kenya was trying to make it seem as if, oh, well, no, I, I already knew. Or, not that I knew, but I already, I already felt it. But when Candy said it, that wasn't a, even a, even if you felt that. Even if you felt that. When Candy said, you know, you probably should, you should cheer up. You st- there was no reason for you to come in and then say it to her. Ever. Ever. You just don't do the girl. You don't. You don't do that. You just you just do not do that. But I, I digress. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? But Candy was there. It was not a permission. You did, it was, and it wasn't. It Either way it go, Candy mentioned it to you first. And you came in. You kept trying to say it. I felt like she wanted to be the first person to say, I told you so, girl. I told. That's why she did it. Because she still wanted to be a part of that moment in some shape, way, or form. But I digress. Anyway... But Kenya said, we had an argument about it, whatever, and I told Kenya this and that, and that. And when she came in, I couldn't believe that she said it. Boom, boom, boom. At this point, it's like, I was really, really pissed. So Kenya, well, no, I'm not going to let any, I, this is my girl, okay? I'm her ride or die, I'm paraphrasing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and I felt it too, and I'm not going to let anybody, I did not have any malicious intent. Uh, girl, girl. We don't believe you at all. It was like, she's my friend. I am happy for her, okay? Maybe y'all are just too excited and not say something, not should I say anything. You should not have. You should not have, but you getting upset. And she wasn't like, she was emotional, but also like defensive. But I'm like, you, you said, you knew you shouldn't have said shit. Points of blank periods. And I'm like, whatever, not did see can you post it on, on social media, like, okay. I should not have said that. I realized that that was my fault and I shouldn't have said shit. Just, as long as you know, no one is half the battle. And then Nene walked in. Nene walked in in the midst of all of this and no one really cared at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think Candy said hello. Of course, Yvonne and Marlo did. And that was much, pretty much it because nobody. Nobody fucking with Nene and Candy brought up her little, you know what I'm saying, speak on it on her YouTube. How she's like she walked in, you know, nobody like got up to hug her, no one got nobody got up to greet her, whatever. They're like, oh hey, and they kept having they they kind of it was like she it, 
I'm not gonna say she don't matter, but she's like it's like she walked in, you know. People saw her and acknowledged that she was she walked in, but nobody like talked to her. And she just kinda sat down and they kept talking about what we were talking about. And I was like, girl, I guess so. And this I went off when Indy came in, everybody got to go quiet. Again, it wasn't much. Okay, so put in the comment section if you also think this is a goddamn gonna fill her episode. Next week better be back. Points blank. Zero period. Anyway, I'm done. Peace.